Welcome back to Press Out. Today I will be reviewing the Nike CPFM Fully 2 in the black colorway. Uh, I know a lot of people think this shoe is ugly. I'm actually a really huge fan of it and I've been enjoying wearing them for the past like who six, almost seven days. This is not, I'm going to do a live test review. I haven't worn these the full seven days, so this isn't going to be the one week after update video. This is just going to be a quick review, kind of oversizing materials, really basic things like that. Um, starting off with materials, everything on the shoe, I would say is basically synthetic. Um, we have pretty much like satin polyester material make, making up the mixture of the upper. Um, nothing on here is really like a genuine, um, material i don't even think there's even any cotton on here there's felt swish right here which just feels really cheap and it does wrinkle pretty easily if you like mess with it too much can't really see it too well on the camera but that happened on my left pair just from messing with the swish um and with the swish you can only even though it has seven parts where you can like push it in you can only do six max i messed with it for a couple hours can never get all seven so I think that's kind of a manufacturing error, or maybe that's just how they did it, so they, they could cover a large size range with each swoosh. So they only have to produce like maybe like six different swooshes and then just have them spread out around from like sizes from like four to size like 15 men. So that might be an idea. On the outsole, we have this really aggressive traction pattern. It does definitely provide a lot of traction outside and mud, dirt, all different elements, really nice. Um, Reminds me of um, Nike waffle runners and all that. Just from this waffle pattern on the outsole, the footprint here glows, but it is absolutely pointless because you're never gonna see that shit. Even if you've been walking all day on the sun and you lift up your foot, you're gonna see it for five seconds and that shit's gone compared to the shoe with the all um, glow in the dark midsole. So yeah, it's pretty pointless. Comes with a bunch of different things to put on the upper such as two swishes, two fleas, and a yin yang side. Really nice touch. And when it comes to the sizing on this shoe, go through the size. Uh, the people who say go like two sizes down, private selection, yeah, they're idiots. I really like the, the early looks they showed us stuff, but uh, yeah, no, don't do that. I would recommend the furthest down you could go depending on your shoe size, if you have like a really narrow foot, you could go down a half size, but if you're normal or wide with feet, go true to size. You'll appreciate it. When you do put the shoes on at first, it's going to feel a bit roomy. But when you're walking in the shoe, especially with this neoprene upper and your foot gets warmer and, and maybe it starts to swell a little bit, you're going to be grateful that you went true to size because otherwise that shit is going to not feel good. And talking more about when you're wearing this shoe, um, don't expect this toe cap to really provide too much protection, like not more than any other shoe. It does kind of seem very familiar to like a steel toe boot. Um, I have worn steel toe boots quite a bit in my life and they're not nearly the same. They're also not as heavy as they look. The shoes are weighty, uh, a bit heavier than the New Balance 96s if you have worn some bigger, bulkier shoes. But I would say they're nowhere near like heavy as the Balenciaga Triple S or anything as big, bulky, and crazy as that. And some additional details, we have the flea on the back, we got the air, air back here, boom, bada bing, bada bang. It's pretty much everything for the shoe, and it also comes with this really dope dust bag, which you can see a lot better in uh, on the foot, uh, the, my bad, the B-roller video. Fits both the shoes in there perfectly, really huge fan of that. To me, I'm gonna be using a lot, I'm always using dust bags when I travel, or just need to put my shoes in a bag, because I don't want that shit to touch my clothes or anything else. The outsoles are really dirty. Why would you want to touch your clothes or anything else or such as a laptop? So yeah, uh, hopefully you like this review. Go true to size, go true to size, go true to size, go true to size. Because then know people are going to be commenting, what should I do for sizing? Go true to size. And yeah, actually still comment what size and do. I'm not going to respond, but maybe someone else will. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this review. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's talking really fast. Just trying to get through all this because it is kind of lengthy. A lot of details. This is a new one. Also, I'm going to be talking about this shoe like at least two to three more times. Because I want to do a life test. Like, seems really durable, seems really reliable, but I want to see how far you can go with this shoe over, I would say, like 60 days, maybe even 90. All right. See you in the next one. Peace.
Stars.com.